Hey, what's up? T-R-O-Y, the maker, checking in. Welcome to project number 19. In this project, we're gonna work with the glow force trace function. I've been having my glow force for about six months now. I haven't even tried the trace function. I don't even know if it's working now. But in this project, we're gonna use the trace function. Let's get off into it. First of all, I do not know how to draw, but have y'all seen some of those videos on YouTube where they turn words into pictures? If y'all haven't, y'all should definitely check some of those out. They're really cool. But it is one of those that I do remember how to do. So let me show you. <laughs> so that is one that I do remember how to do. Also, let's do this too. I know some of you guys remember that. So these are the two things that I'm gonna trace out. So let's head over to the Glowforge and trace it out. And then we're on the home tab of the Glowforge and we just gotta hit the trace button. So it's saying drag a square around the artwork that you want to trace. So that's the square. Okay, so step two says, click the white arrow you want to cut away. We know we wanna cut just the outside of it. So just click on the outside of the image and that should give it a cut. Yep, it gives it a cut all the way around. And that's all we wanna cut and the rest of it we want to engrave. So now we just go up and we go to place artwork. So now we're back on the camera under the Glowforge. So now we have to put the material in that we're gonna use. So now as you can see, we can move the design out of the way. So let's put in some material and see what we get. So now I got the material in here. I'm gonna use some medium draft board because this is proof grade material. It already has the settings in for what Glowforge recommend. So we're just gonna leave it at that, except I'm gonna change it from draft photo to draft graphic. I think this looks better and it got the cutout and also, we're just gonna scale it down really way smaller than what it is. Hold on, let's zoom in on it. Let's grab this, move it down, go back to the arrow, select it. We'll make it smaller. We'll go about two inches. Click ready and then let's cut it out. All right, there it is. As you can see, it's gonna take six minutes and 34 seconds. There you have it. All the paper peeled off. Turned out really, really good. Looks just like the drawing. The money sign. Looks really, really good. Looks just like it. There you have it, project number 19 complete, the Glowforge trace function. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe and the bell so you don't miss any of my new uploads. And let's try to get this video to 100 likes. I'll see you guys in the next project.